In this video, we will use a little example to explain the workings of Bayes' theorem. The setup is as follows. We have this bowl here, the green circled area, and there are 10 marbles in here. Four of them are blue, six of them are red. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw marbles from this bowl. And we're going to draw successively marbles, actually one and then a second. But importantly, after drawing the first, we will not put it back into the bowl. So we call that without replacement. Let's define two events. T event A, which is going to be that defined by the first ball being blue. And event B, which is defined as the second ball being blue. So what we now want to do is we want to first calculate the probability that A and B, events A and B happen. That means that the first ball is blue and the second ball we draw is also blue. So what we're going to use here is our multiplication formula for probabilities. Probability of A and B is the probability of... Now how do we write this? We're going to take the second event B given A times the probability of A. So what does that mean? The probability of getting both the first and the second ball equal to blue is the same as the probability of getting the first ball as a blue one, that's the probability of A, times the probability of getting the second ball blue conditional on the first one being blue. So let's think about these probabilities. The easiest one to think about is this probability here. Probability A, the probability that the first ball is blue. Let's just write this here, the probability of A. Well, we're looking at the ball as we have it here. We're randomly drawing a ball. There are four blue ones and out of 10. So the probability is four over 10. That is pretty straightforward. So let's assume we have picked a blue marble. So that marble comes out. And we, the probability that that first marble was blue was 40%. So we're having here times 4 over 10. But what is now the probability that the second ball is also blue, B, event B, conditional on the first one having been blue? Well, the first one is blue, it's out. We're having nine balls left, three of them are blue, so the probability of B conditional on A is 3 over 9. So that means 3 over 9 goes here. We're having uh, 12 over 90 and that is equal to 2 15th. So the probability that the first and the second ball are blue using our multiplication formula for probabilities, comes out as 2 over 15. We could now ask another probability. We could ask for the probability that the second ball is blue. How would we calculate that? Well, what we need to recognize here is that there are two ways to get to this. Either we first draw a blue ball and then we draw a blue ball in the second round conditional on the first one being a blue ball. So that is exactly sort of the path for which we just calculated the probability. But equally it could also happen that the first ball we draw is a red one. And then the second ball is a blue one. So how would we calculate that probability? That would be 
basically that this probability here, let me just repeat that, that was the probability of B and A. But now we have a second possibility and that is the probability of B and not A, meaning in the first round we didn't get a blue ball but a red ball. So how would we calculate that? That would be the probability of B conditional on not A times the probability of not A. So let's think about what these probabilities are. So the probability of not A, that is the probability of drawing a red ball in the first draw. So think about we're starting with 10 balls and the probability of drawing a red ball is, of course, 6 out of 10. Now let's assume we got a red ball. So for the second round, the probability that we draw a blue ball in the second round, given the first one was not blue, well, we're having nine balls left, four of them are blue, so that is 4 over 9. So what's the probability here? That probability we already calculated, that was 2 over 15. So that's 2 over 15 plus probability of B and A is probability, this conditional probability times this marginal probability. We calculated them here. So there were 4 9th times 6 10th. So here we get 2 over 15 and if you calculate that you get 24 19th or 4 15th so altogether we get 6 over 15. So the probability that the second ball is blue regardless of what the first ball was is 6 over 15.